Hi, everyone. My name is Scott Morris. I'm the Director of Business Development for GTS Distribution's Gaming Division, which is a really long and fancy way of saying I'm the board game guy. And we are here with another one of our retailer to publisher webinars. This one is actually a pre recorded one, so we don't have a live studio audience. So I'll do my best to make like cheering noises and claps and applause <laughs> in the background and everything. Um, but I'm really excited about today because we have a rekindling of a partnership, so to speak. Uh, so Plaid Hat Games is here. Nikki Schultz, who is the marketing manager for Plaid Hat Games, is going to be talking about all of some new things coming up, uh, some things I don't want to steal any thunder about because they're really cool and I'll let her mention them and talk about them. Um, but just recently, uh, Plaid Hat Games uh, was repurchased by Colby, the owner, uh, and he has brought it back into kind of the fold, so to speak. We are picking up our partnership. We used to distribute uh, Plaid Hat Games a while back uh, and then through different partnerships and different channels that changed. Now we're back to where we were and I'm really excited to have them as part of the family again. Um, they make some great, great games. Um, I made a comment to Colby that, you know, I I'd first got introduced to Plaid Hat Games back with Dungeon Run like ages ago uh, and absolutely loved it. Uh, of course, Mice and Mystics is one of the most famous and, and one of the most popular games, but they have a, a very, very big line. And I think for me, more than anything else, the thing I'm really excited about is that they have brands of games. They, they have games that have, you know, distinct lines, distinct player bases and things that you can really lean into. Um, Nikki, you'll hear me talk about it many times. I always say brands first, games second. Lean on the people that you know hit doubles, triples, and home runs much more than just singles and strikeouts. And you know, you guys definitely fit into that category. So it's just definitely exciting to have you guys back. So um, with that, I'm going to let my face that was made for radio <laughs> shut up because you're not here to see me. I'll let Nikki take over and start talking about everything. She's got a presentation to share. Um, I'll chime in from time to time with some questions, but hopefully this is some really good information for all the retailers to learn about the products that are available to order right now and things that are coming up. So with that, Nikki, my friend, thank you so much for joining us and the floor is all yours. Well, thanks for having me. Uh, that was a nice introduction talking about Colby and our brands. I appreciate that. <laughs> and the baseball uh, thing. I'm glad I've played softball so I understood what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> so I'll jump into uh, the presentation I have. Let me share my screen here. All right, this is what we have coming up in 2021. Uh, first off, I'll give a little bit of background about Plaid Hat Games. We're an indie, re-indie board game studio. We were established in 2009 by Colby Dalk. Um, our first game that we put out was Summoner Wars, designed by Colby, and it was a big hit. And it's an action-packed tactical card game for two players. And um, People liked it, so we kept making games. Uh, we're committed to creating fun and engaging games that create uh, memorable tabletop experiences, and we are considered one of the leaders in the field for strong narrative-driven games. This is uh, all of the games that we have put out uh, to date. And let me get here. We uh, joined F2Z Games in 2015, and then we were acquired by Asthma Day Group. Um, and there we continued to create uh, fan favorite games such as Stuffed Fables, Ashes, Abomination, the Era of Frankenstein, and a lot more. And then earlier this year in February, um, like Scott mentioned, we were reacquired by Colby Dowk. He uh, took us back and now we're an independent studio again. Um, Asmo Day retained the rights to some of our older uh, notable titles such as Dead of Winter and Mice of Mystics. So our first release as an independent again studio was Forgotten Waters. It was released in April of this year. Um, it's a narrative driven pirate adventure game. The brand is the Crossroads game such as Dead of Winter and Gen 7 was. So it has players making choices that ultimately affect the story of the game. Um, it was released a critical acclaim and it received the Dice Tower Seal of Excellence. So that brings us up to date. And next year, we are kicking things off with Ashes Reborn. So last year, we announced the end of our 2015 um, card game, Ashes. And since we're independent again, we thought we would bring back the line uh, and give it a little bit of more love. And it's now the Phoenix has risen and it's Ashes Reborn. It's a new edition of the award-winning card game, Ashes. And. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh. Nikki, I have a question for you on this, having yes. played Ashes quite extensively as my career as a gamer. Um, can you tell us a little bit, and maybe you have it in the, in the coming slides, but 
Are there any differences that retailers would need to know, like if they have a strong player base? Like, for example, when I used to live in Austin, one of the stores, Emerald Tavern, had a really strong player base of Ashes that were there and were constantly playing the game. If I'm an existing player, what do I need to know about this new reborn version? And if I'm brand new to it, what, what, what do I need to know as a brand new player? So if you are a brand new player, you want to pick up the Ashes Reborn boxes. These are the upgraded one point, um, the 1 1.0 expansions. Um, we have the master set and all of the expansions have been updated to 1.5, the Reborn. But you need to get these boxes. The original was a white box um, and the Reborn boxes are going to be this brownish red like flames. So these are the products they will want to pick up as new players. Um, previous players, um, they are going to want to get the upgrade kit, upgrade kit, which I have. Um, I'll show that off here in a little bit. That is going to upgrade your entire collection. It's thirty bucks, and it's the you'll get the rule book, the one point five rule book, and all of the cards you need to upgrade your collection. That's awesome. all you're going to need is the rule book and the upgraded cards, and then cool. you're good to go. And just so retailers know as they're watching this, all of the Ashes SKUs are in our system right now for pre-ordering, including that upgrade kit. So you should be able to find those pretty easily, but we'll make sure to put links in the YouTube description for the video as well. Perfect. Yes, let me. So in January, we're releasing the master set. Um, and Ashes is designed by Isaac Vega. He is from Dead of Winter, um, Starship Samurai. He is big into lore. And so Ashes has a great story behind it. Um, it's an expandable card game. It introduces the world of Argea, where these powerful wizard warriors called Phoenix Morn, and you can see the original six here, the artwork is beautiful. Uh, the Phoenix Morn have saved humanity and they now face off against each other to claim ultimate godhood. So when you play, you choose the Phoenix Morn that you want to play with, and then you can create your custom decks using the imaginative cards and custom dice to craft the perfect deck for you. Um, you'll summon allies, combine powerful spells, and outwit your opponents in a fast-paced, back-and-forth barrage of well-crafted magic and strategic skills. So that's kind of what is sets Ashes is set apart from the other two-player card games, is we have these custom dice that you can use different types of magic and make your own decks. I, so when you're in a tournament with somebody else, it's very unlikely they're, they're going to have the same cards as you. And it's probably important to let retailers know uh, you, the key word in that whole commentary there was expandable, not collectible, right? It's yes. it's not something that you're having to chase down things or buy multiple packs of. If if I buy a master set and you buy a master set, we get the exact same things and we yes. get, have everything we need to be to be competitive, but it's not like I need to go chase down on some third party market of eBay guys to you know get a $400 card or anything like that, which is yes, important. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Um, so just showing off the, the four types of dice that come with the master set and then what the cards look like, um, you'll customize your deck and dice pool, like I said, and you'll choose your first five when you play, which is, uh, it's pretty cool that when you start playing with somebody, you can see what Phoenix born they have, and then you can choose from your deck what the five starting cards that you want to start with in your hand so that you can prepare yourself for, oh, this is uh, Jessa. I know she's going to try to like kill a lot of her own people and bring them back into her hand and like destroy me that way. So you can customize your first five so that you're ready for whichever Phoenix Morn you're put against. And I think that's really cool. <laughs> yeah, that's like one of the biggest differentiating factors, right? I mean, I can't, having pro toured with magic way back in the day, I can't tell you how many times that we would have conversations about, oh, I, I lost because I didn't draw what I needed to at the beginning of the game. Yeah, right? exactly. You know, yeah. You, you take the time to put these decks together. And in this case, the decks and the dice and, and you want it to do something right. You, you, you almost have you like, you're talking about the narrative in it. You have a narrative in your deck. You want it to do a specific thing. And if it, if it can't get rolling, that's frustrating. So that one dynamic of just being able to say, okay, I get to know exactly how I'm going to start this game. And then from there, it's the decisions I make, make it such a hugely, in my opinion, better experience for both the competitive players and for even just the casual players, which is super fun. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I was going to agree. It's super fun. 
<laughs> and and you get to customize the dice in your deck as well. So you get 10 dice. It's 30 cards and 10 dice in your deck. And you can have like three illusion, three nature, and just up to 10, you can have whatever magic you need for the cards that you've chosen. And then you can target your enemies with your cards and spells in your hands uh, using the dice. And there are always side actions you can take to change the side of the dice that is showing. And you can usually, uh, your Phoenix Born has a cool uh, ability that you can use and it's usually has to do with attacking or defending or you can even go through your deck and discard cards off the top of your deck so you can get the cards you need to focus on your strategy. Um, Ashes Reborn features many uh, substantial improvements over the original release of Ashes. We have Nick Conley. He's now the Re Reborn developer. He was a play tester for the original Ashes. He is stuck with it. He's gone to lots of tournaments. He's an expert on the game. So he has gone through and uh, made streamlined rules, simplified card text, and ba made balance adjustments uh, to all of the cards that he felt needed to be adjusted. Um, Ashes Reborn is the best way to play. So here's the master set I was talking about. Uh, it's MSRP is $49.95 and you'll get the six Phoenix born, all of their, um, their ready to play decks. You'll get the four sets of dice uh, for, I'm sorry, four different types of dice, the tokens you need, the rule book, and then you'll be ready to play out of the box. Uh, we also have the expansion decks here. These were all released uh, as 1.0 and now they've been upgraded. So if you, like I said earlier, if you are uh, new to Ashes, you'll want to get these boxes, the red ones. And you will need even, uh, they're ready to play decks, but you'll also need the master set in order to have the tokens and the rule book and the reference card for your turn play. And these are for uh, MSRP is 1495. We also have the deluxe expansion sets. These were released as 1.0 as well. We have Odette, um, the Phoenix Born with Law of Lions uh, and Namine. They each introduced a new type of dice. Namine has the sympathy dice, which are my favorite dice. They're the pretty green ones. And then Odette has the white and gold ones. Um, these deluxe expansions, they cost $29.95 and they come with the ready to play expansion deck. Uh, they come with 10 dice, and then they have a premium deck box in with them that holds uh, sleeved cards, and it'll, uh, it'll hold two decks, and it'll hold, I believe, three sets of dice. And then this is the upgrade kit. Uh, this is going to be available to retailers in uh, April 2021. Uh, it is the most cost-effective way for any player of the original Ashes to upgrade their entire collection with the uh, new Ashes Reborn rules and products. That's uh, a heck of uh, a lot of cards for 30 bucks. 378 yeah. <laughs> upgraded cards. Yes. That's amazing. <laughs> yes, it is. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> but yeah, so if you are a previous player, you will just get this box of cards and you go through and uh, take out the old ones, put the new Reborn cards and they look, the backs and everything look exactly the same. So you're not gonna be able to tell them apart when you're playing. It's all gonna match. Um, that's awesome. That says quite a bit about how you guys care about your player base and, and the people who have really helped build the game, you know, over the last several years, because it probably would have been very easy to just have the new edition and just kind of say, okay, this is the fork in the road and we're moving forward from here. But I mean, I, I know from my experiences playing this game, um, both casually and competitively and seeing some of my local stores hold competitive events for it. The people that love this game, they love this game. Oh. I mean, they are, they are just rabid fan base for this type of game and being able to just simply tell them hey we know you've invested a lot over the last several years so we want to make sure that you can keep continuing without having to you know kind of you know take you for a trip over the coal so to speak for you know buying all new product so that i think I, I just think that's a great statement to be able to make for the the you know professional players or even the casual players say hey if you invested a lot we got you covered right which is really cool yeah and uh it's great nick the developer he went through every single deck, every card um, said, we can clarify these more. This is a little unbalanced. We can fix this this way. And I know he has said he uh, didn't like the status tokens that um, were in the original. So he has uh, done up some cards that he says the 
they work well now and people are going to enjoy the status tokens in this <laughs> in this new version that's cool it's always it's always good to not just make a good product but make one with love right <laughs> yeah yeah uh so the new rule set for ashes reborn is to make the game more accessible and intuitive without losing any of what makes it fun and rewarding to play so that yeah is you know having been a, a player of the original set for a while this is not a hard game to get into this this is actually a really really easy game to get into even if you didn't have experience you know playing other you know living card games or trading card games or anything like that this is this is a pretty easy rule set to to start off and get into and honestly for me like i'm a big dice player i i love that you know tactile feeling and while playing card games gives you tactile feeling adding the dice to it just adds a whole never layer of excitement and fun and, and just overall enjoyment so i i can't say enough good things about ashes i think it's a great great series Hey, yeah, it is. It's so weird that so weird. just like, just like holding a handful of dice and rolling it and being like, yeah, it just exactly it just, it's fun. <laughs> All right, and I have one more product to show off. This is the brand. This is the brand new reborn product. Um, it, there was not a 1.0 version. It's going to be brand new. It's a deluxe uh, expansion kit. It's the Breaker of Fate. Uh, for those who have played Ashes before, you will recognize Jericho Kill. She's this Phoenix born. She um, originally had an expansion deck called the Pathen of Assassin, the Pathen, the Path of Assassins. And that is the only deck we had from 1.0 that we retired because we were bringing Jericho back with the deluxe expansion set and the time dice. It, people, when we announced the cancel, the end of Ashes last year, I had so many people reaching out to me where's like what about the time dice please say that we're going to get the time dice and now you have the time dice here they are the turtle dice um so she is on her uh, the lore is that she has unlocked the ability to manipulate time itself she's journeyed into the temporal planes and she's defeated phoenix born from across many timelines and claimed their greatest weapon weapons as her own she now returns reborn in fire and prepared to turn the path of her own timeline return prepared to return to the path um includes the highly anticipated time dice uh and the brand new phoenix born uh with her brand new deck and new cards for the custom uh deck building and it's it has it's the expansion kit so it has the deck box in it that's going to hold the sleeved cards and your custom decks and your dice and it's a msrp so 29.95 I'm gonna put you on the spot a little bit with something because oh, it's no. Um, no 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 this is this is a good thing I think <laughs> um, but it's uh, it, it's one of the subtle things that I I think can sometimes get overlooked when people are you know looking at products and 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 honestly as as a retailer looking at just a a sea of products you know and so many different things they have but you know especially this year in 2020 it's been a relentless year and it's just been you know everything in the the kitchen sink has been thrown at us as as a humanity just you know alone by itself but you guys, and this probably comes a lot just from the culture at, at Plaid Hat and what I know about Colby as a person and, and the team and the people that you have working there. And Isaac too, is, is, is such a great person and designer as he is. Ashes is a very diverse game. It's, yes. there are so many different types of people that are in this world of Agea. And, and there's so many different representations in this that I think it's really important, right? Because, um, you know, as we're recording this, we're recording this today on December 9th. Today is actually my daughter's birthday and she's 27 years old today. She um, loves playing games. She, she loves, you know, playing competitive games like this. Um, but she has always had a very keen eye on, you know, how are females represented in games or just how are people of different cultures represented in games. And I think it's really important to call out that you guys do an absolutely tremendous job on that. So I, I think that's, you know, as retailers have, you know, socially conscious, you know, consumers and people looking for things like that, this is a really good thing to point out. Thanks. Yeah. Um, Isaac, um, Isaac was, was Plaid Hats, like uh, besides Colby, Colby, the first. The employee and he really like pushed for that and i mean it's it should be representation matters and it is we yeah. understand that and we want everyone to feel welcome to play our games and when you see yourself in a character that feels good it does 
it's, it's really exciting to see because I, I you would think it was be a, a normal thing by this point in time unfortunately it's not but it's yeah. you know yeah. it, it's always something I like to call out because the the people that take the time to do that you know it's just it's it's very much appreciated so oh man I could go on a rant about this <laughs> Some <laughs> right. people that's a whole different know. podcast <laughs> <laughs> whole different podcast <laughs> that's funny Excuse me. Um, so yeah, we are excited for Jericho and I know the Ashes fans are, are waiting to get their hands on her new deck. So that is the last I have for Ashes Reborn. We will have um, two expansions coming out at the end of 2021, but I don't have any information for you all about that yet. <laughs> that's that's going to be coming. And out. thus begins the teasing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know who they are, but I can't tell you. Uh, <laughs> so the next thing I want to show off, I mentioned that our first release was Summoner Wars. So in 2021, we are also revisiting Summoner Wars with version 2.0. Oh, <laughs> um, Summoner Wars uh, is beloved by critics and board game players alike as a fast playing action packed two player card game. And it has won lots of awards, been nominated for lots of awards. Um, we're expecting the second edition to come out in quarter two of 2021. Uh, the artwork, if you're familiar with the original, you can see that we have new artwork. Um, and I'm going to show that off to you all. We um, got Martin Abel who is a great artist. He did Crystal Clans for us a couple of years back. Um, we love his art style. So we asked him to come back for Summoner Wars just to update some of the art. If you, you're you familiar with Summoner, War, um, Summoner Wars, the original, it, it was due for an update. <laughs> so here we have um, some information about Summoner Wars is they take on, players take on the roles of summoner, summoners. They're powerful beings who harness the power of mysterious summoning stones to lead their armies to conquest on the war-torn planet of Itharia. Summoners wield terrible magic on the battlefield. They can freeze their foes, draining their enemies of powers, and even bringing rains of fires down from their heavens, depending on which uh, deck you are playing with and what your summoner's powers are. Uh, but most notoriously, they summon their great races, hordes of warriors to the battlefield to clash in the never-ending struggle for power. A summoner is both mage and general and must combine their wizardly might with clever tactics to defeat the enemy summoner on the opposite side of the battle. So it's a two player game. You're sitting across, you have this board in front of you and you, um, you bring your units out with these gates and they can only appear next to a gate and you're trying to go over and attack your enemies, basically taking out their summoner. And you also wanna focus on taking out their gates so that they can't bring any more reinforcements out. So it's a, uh, a pretty fun tactical battle game and one of the big uh, changes you can see besides the artwork is the dice it used to just be pips and now we have uh icons on there for range and melee and special attacks yeah it looks great the artwork is such a, a big update i mean I, I still have my original summoners war master set from back in 2009 2010 so this is this is really exciting to see the uh, the clinger picture there looks great. <laughs> it, just, oh, it looks oh. like such an evil little goblin. <laughs> yeah, I play uh, I've play tested this one quite a bit, and Colby gets mad at me because when he kills my people, I'm always like, "Oh no, oh, no. that was the oh, Beast Riders one." Like, oh, I want to sign them personalities. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> so the master set of Summoner Wars uh, 2.0 is going to be uh, 49.95, and you're going to get. Um, six decks uh, in that. And just so retailers know, this is really like one of the first times this is really being talked about or even kind of put yes, out there. Yes. So we this have, is not set up in our system yet. This is not yes, something that's gonna yeah. be pre-orderable yet, but it it's, will be very, very soon. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've mentioned it a couple of times on our uh, our Plaid Hat podcast. Plaid and Hat, yeah. when we went independent again, Colby mentioned that it was something he did want to revisit and we are revisiting. We've been play we've testing. Been we've been- That's awesome perfecting it <laughs> and then uh one more is just some more artwork this is the gate the background image it's uh in the original summoner wars when you brought your units out onto the board it was just basically a stone wall that you were putting your units next to and now it's this cool portal gate and it's beautiful and i wanted to show it off <laughs> So uh, Summoner Wars version 2.0 promises to bring even more fun with streamlined rules, updated magic systems, and fantastic new artwork. Yeah, it looks great. It looks really, really great. Yeah, Martin did a great, did a great job, job on this art. On this art. 
That's awesome. It's always fun to see something that you have loved for so long, get that kind of like fresh coat of paint, that makeover, right? Just kind of modernizing it a little bit for it. So that's, that's going to be very exciting to see. Yeah. And part of uh, the new Summoner Wars is we wanted to make it more welcoming to all players because the older Summoner Wars, when you look at it, it, there's something about it that just makes it seem intimidating to me. But with this new, it it just brightens it up. It looks like, oh, I want to, you know, I can play that game. That's a very important thing nowadays. I mean, it's like with with so much in-store play not happening because of COVID, having something that gives you that kind of uh, what I call the the mind feeling, meaning that you look at it and you want to pick it up and you want to touch it. And then once you touch it, it's mine. Like I, I'm going home <laughs> with this, right? So that, that's a that's a very important thing. So that's cool. I have that problem with pets. If I see a pet, <laughs> I'm like, that's cute. Oh, it made oh, eye contact, made with, eye contact me. with me. That's my there pet now. <laughs> so, if, so if you want any of the Summoner Wars info, you have to send kittens to Nikki. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I did get one for Christmas already. So I'll take oh, another. Oh, wow. There you go. There you go. That's, that's awesome. um, so yeah, this is uh, our 2021 lineup. Very cool. So Nikki, I know a lot of things that retailers ask us is they, they look for um, any kind of assets that you guys have as a publisher, any kind of websites they can use. Uh, I guess first part of the question is, what's the best way for retailers to reach out to you guys as a company if they have any questions or want to follow up on something? And then second part of the question is kind of what assets are available for them to be able to use today? Um, you can always reach out to me at Nikki at uh, okay. We also have, we have a new website that we made when we went independent and uh, there are media kits for uh, all of our games that are easily accessible. And we do have a Dropbox that I know I gave access to you. Should they reach out to you yes. for the access? Okay, <laughs> there is yeah, a Dropbox. No, I, I, if, that's, if that's the same one, I can use that link actually in the, the video and in the description below, so. Yes, yes. So Perfect. that's available that's for available. them to grab some videos. And um, I just made some, I recorded some Reborn What's in the Box so they can see what all comes in those that will be going up in a week or two. So that'll be in there yeah, as well. Yeah, we found a lot of retailers have uh, gotten a lot of reuse out of that, right? They, they just take your messages and augment your messages where they can like take a video and put it into their own Facebook feed or their own Twitter feed and, you know, yeah. either yeah. brand it with their own, you know, logo from the store and things like that. So that's always very helpful to have. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, this is awesome. I'm really excited about having you guys back. I'm obviously very excited for Ashes, having been a player of Ashes and, and both Summoner Wars. Of course, Summoner Wars is a little later. Q2 of 2021 feels, it feels both like it's here tomorrow and it's going to be 10 years from now at the same what time. What is time so, anymore? I know. It's just <laughs> crazy. So, but I, I really want to thank you. I want to thank Colby for and it'll come, coming back to a partnership with us here and being able to work together again. We're really excited to have you to be part of the family and we're excited to, you know, provide these kind of games for our retailers that, you know, like I said before, you know, it, it's, it's great games and it's great products, but it's also a well-established company. It's a company that has pedigree. It's a company that has brands that you can lean into. And I'm sure that while, you know, we've only talked about Ashes and Summoner Wars here, there's going to be much, much more to come given your guys' pedigree and what you guys have in, in the past. Yes, there is. <laughs> <laughs> there and there and the teasing. <laughs> awesome. Well, Nikki, thank you very much for taking the time. I know, you know, it's crazy, you know, as it is right now with everything, but I really do appreciate you taking the time to come talk to the retailers. Yeah, thanks for asking me to be a part of this. Anytime. And and like always, this is not a one and done, right? This is not a one conversation, it's over. So as you guys have more new releases and more exciting new things to talk about, then you know, we're happy to have you guys back and do some more of these. Oh yeah, definitely. Anytime. Awesome. Well, I love to talk. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And you love kittens apparently. So. <laughs> um, retailers, I hope this has been important and helpful information for you. If you do have questions, feel free to reach out. Like Nikki said, you can reach her at Nikki at platehatgames.com. You can always reach me at smorris at gtsdistribution.com. Uh, you can always leave a comment here if you're watching on YouTube uh, below, and we'll be happy to answer questions here too. Also, like everyone on the planet always tells you, please like this video, share, subscribe, do all those fun things that you can get more notifications when we do more of these webinars. Uh, but we really do appreciate you taking the time to engage with these, and we hope that these are great products for you in your stores. So until we see you next time, thank you so much for watching. We hope you have a great week in your stores. Take care. <laughs>